So now here's the circuit that I thought up and drew up tonight. We have a 555 timer right here and even though it only has one button, it is actually wired to be a flip flop if you use it uh, correctly. So there you can see I pressed the uh, button there. The output went from low to high and it's going to stay high until I press the button again and set the output low. So now I think we can take a closer look at this circuit without pulling it apart. We're using a 9 volt power supply. This seems to be working a lot better with 9 volts than uh, 5 volts. Plus I'm using a relatively high value uh, component. So 1 kilo ohm resistor, blue LED. The blue LED lights up when the output is low, connected to ground as it can. You can see that path right there. So long lead anode, more positive. Short lead cathode, more negative as always. Going to 3 and ground. For the uh, red LED, of course. That means the output's high, as close to 9 volts as it can, going through the red LED and the 1 kilo ohm resistor down there. We could use a lower value to get the red LED brighter if we wanted to. 470 would work with this 9 volts. So right now, the power is off. I will turn it on, and the blue LED is lit up. And that tells me the output is low, which means pin 7 is also connected to ground. So whatever current goes through that 10 kilo ohm resistor is just going to ground. Whatever charge the capacitor may have uh, discharges through there, and it will discharge all the way to 0 volts. So now I'm going to close the button here. And uh, so we got 0 volts at the capacitor. When I uh, press the button, you get that 0 volts, and I can hold it down as long as I want, at uh, pin 2 and pin 6. When I release it, it is at the halfway point right there. And uh, so it doesn't do anything at the halfway point. When pin 2 gets a low input, it sets the output high, and 7 stops discharging the ground. So we got the capacitor charging through two resistors right there and it just charges up until it gets to 9 volts. So now that we are at 9 volts with the capacitor, I'm going to press the button again. So when I press the button, we had more than two thirds of the supply voltage because it was 9 volts to pin 6. So when pin 6 gets two thirds or more voltage, it sets the output low. So we got the blue LED lit, plus it connects 7 back to ground again. So any current again goes uh, straight to ground that goes through that 10k resistor and the capacitor keeps discharging until it gets to zero volts so we got that halfway point we need less than one third to trigger pin two which is the trigger pin we need more than two thirds to get the uh, the threshold pin to uh, change states right there so less than one third more than two thirds half of the supply voltage is halfway in between there if we just leave this floating, it's going to pick up stray signals in the air and the voltage will bounce back and forth. You will see that uh, both of the LEDs look like they're both lit, but they're actually turning on and off uh, really rapidly, about 60 times a second. And we'll take a uh, closer look at those current paths. So there's that voltage divider we just looked at. They both uh, connect. I reattached them before uh, filming the scene. And you can see it goes through that jumper up to 2 and to uh, 6 right there. So hopefully you can see that. Now, let's go with the uh, current path here. We got the uh, positive supply, uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor coming to this resistor. And we don't have to use these value resistors. The uh, lower value that you use, the faster the capacitor will charge. Also, the lower value the capacitor, the faster it will charge. So we got that uh, 10 microfarad there. And uh, when we uh, press the button, so right now, the output is low. So actually, the capacitor is not charging right now. It discharged to zero volts. We press the button, and now the capacitor is charging through those two resistors as I showed. Now, when we hit the uh, button, and press it long enough, get a good enough uh, connection. It is kind of a finicky circuit. But in uh, any case, now the uh, capacitor is uh, discharging, as I said, through just the uh, one resistor there going to ground. The uh, switch here is not connected right now. So the bottom is the capacitor can charge and discharge freely. But uh, the signal doesn't make it to that uh, other jumper until I press the button right there. That's when the signal gets there. As I said before, these other two resistors hold it in the halfway point where the 555 timer doesn't do anything the way that we have wired, as I explained before. So, in any case, a lot you could do to improve this circuit, but uh, for quickly putting together, I think it's still a pretty 
fun circuit. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.